Hi, I'm Leah Gorman. I'm a master's student in the Lake Management Program at the State University of New York at Oneonta, and today I'm going to teach you how to properly use the Secchi Disk for monitoring lake transparency. Whenever you're monitoring out on your boat, make sure to follow all of the general safety protocols you always use while boating. So wear a life jacket and make sure you have everything you need and that it's secure in your boat. For monitoring, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., head to the basin you're interested in. Generally, this is going to be the deep point of your lake, which will represent your whole lake conditions. And once you arrive, deploy your anchor securely so that your boat is as stable as possible. For the sucky disc reading, make sure you're measuring from the shady side of the boat. Here it would be the starboard or right side. Don't wear your sunglasses. These small details can contribute to an inaccurate reading. Um, on the rope attached to your secchi disc, there will be a clear marking at each meter, which is really important to use while lowering the secchi disc into the water column. So lower your disc slowly, making sure it's going vertical despite any windy or wavy conditions, and lower it until you can no longer see the disc. Here I can no longer see it at 3 meters, so that's the first measurement. And then begin to slowly raise it up and measure the point where you're first able to see it again. Here it's 2.5 meters. Then you take the average of those two numbers and you have your secutus greeting. In this case, it's 2.75 meters. Things to keep in mind while taking your secchi disc are weather conditions. If it's a cloudy, rainy, or very windy day, that can sway your readings. Also, who is taking the measurement? So height from the water and eyesight can both factor into the measurement. So that means that while monitoring multiple times throughout a season or throughout the year, consistency is really important. But what does this measurement actually mean? Uh, so anything that contributes to decreasing the water clarity will um, influence your secu reading. So that can be phytoplankton, suspended inorganic materials, and dissolved organic substances. Um, what the numbers actually mean, uh, so for low productivity lakes or oligotrophic, you're usually going to have a greater than 5 meter secu disc. For lakes in the middle of that, mesotrophic, you usually have 2 to 5 meters and high highly productive lakes or eutrophic lakes, you're usually going to get a less than two meters reading. So just to recap all the steps you're going to take, I'll measure between 10 and 4 p.m. No, don't wear your sunglasses. Lower on the shady side of the boat. Lower the disc until you can no longer see it and record your depth. Raise it until you can first see again, record that depth. And finally, take the average of those two depths and you have your secu disc reading. Happy monitoring and stay safe.